Welcome back to another Let's Code. Today we're going to be using Shamewa to manage our dot files. Now, Shamewa is basically a Go binary or a Go program that we can use to maintain a Git repo of our dot files and sync them between machines, along with a bunch of uh, additional features that are kind of nice, like templating and putting things in different directories based on different operating systems. Um, since I operate across Mac and Windows uh, and sometimes Linux, I need something that can put uh, the same kinds of files and the same templates into different places on these different operating systems. So for example, I use New Shell on Mac OS, um, and I also use New Shell on Windows, but the file, like the config files need to be in different locations on different systems. So I have a dot files repo already, which is going to present a couple of issues. Um, I don't think this has been updated in a little bit. I think everything's still local on most of my machines over the last year or so. Uh, you can see in here, I have my old Emacs configs and stuff like that. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of most of this anyway. Um, there's a bunch of photos of old stuff here. Um, so Jacob Bolda has written this nice blog post about like basically getting a quick start um, for Shamois. And we're gonna go through it today and I'm going to add, oh, I don't know. Maybe it may be my Rust format.toml to Shamewa as a simple example. And then I will continue with all of my other files probably after the video, because watching me do that over and over and over again would be uh, pretty boring. So I'm a Mac, so we're gonna take um, Homebrew and install this. Let's get Alacrity open and we will paste that in. I'm not sure what that 201 was about, but it's fine. All right, so now Homebrew has um, completely updated itself <laughs> and installed Shamois for us. Our next step is to initialize Shamois. And I think that um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to initialize it with the defaults and then try to change the repo to point at uh, my dot .files repo, but on a main branch instead of the current checks mix in it. Yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're going for here. Shamois init. I have no idea if that worked. Let's try Shamwa edit. Uh, oh, that threw us into Emacs. That's a problem. What actually did this throw us into? That doesn't look like Emacs. That looks like Nano. Maybe I can WQ it. Read only. Uh, this is Vim. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, contrary to many jokes on the internet, exiting Vim uh, <laughs> while confusing the first time you open it is actually not that hard. Okay. So let's do editor equals code dash W um, shamewa edit and editor. The editor variable is something that I actually need to fix in my dot file setup because it still has, I think it still has Emacs as the um, uh, editor and uh, I don't really use Emacs anymore. So my install has kind of like degraded over time and it uh, doesn't quite work anymore. Uh, let's see, that didn't work. So maybe we take dash W off and try to force it to open a full new code workspace. Okay, let's skip all of the updates that are trying to apply. Um, there's nothing in here, which is interesting. Um, let's look at Shamewa help, uh, which is quite long and doesn't format to my terminal. Great, great. So we can add to add an existing file. I think I can add the Rust format file just to get started. I think that uh, what I want to do is actually find the location of this at some point here. So Jacob says that we should Shamewa add something. Let me Shamewa add, I think in this in this directory that we're in right now, there's a .rust file, or .rust file, .rust format.toml. Um, so I'll just open that and it's, it's got a couple of toml variables in here. It's not super interesting, um, but it's something that I use a lot when I'm trying to display code. So when I save Rust files, it formats to be 60 characters in width, which makes it easier for me to show it at larger sizes in videos like this. So shame moi add dot rust format dot toml. And then if I understand what that does, yes. Okay, so it added a dot. Uh, so this is a convention as well. Dot underscore rust format dot toml. Shame moi is meant to manage your home directory only really. It's not like a system-wide manager or anything. So this is implicitly in the home directory and it translates dot underscore to dot, like the literal dot rust format dot toml. So this is in here now. Uh, if I hover over that file, we can actually see where this is now. So it's local share shamewa. Where's dot local? Local 
share, share moi. So if we CD into that directory, I wonder if we can, we don't have a Git remote here. I thought we were already gonna have one. Um, I wonder if there's a dot file in here. <laughs> there's no like dot shame moi dot file. Okay, I'm not sure how to change the Git repo that it's going to talk to here, um, but we've added that file. So it's in there now. Oh, there's a shame moi CD that we probably should have been using. So if I try this again and I shame moi CD, it should send me into dot local, which it did. It doesn't have a Git remote, which is interesting. So when you make a change to the shame while local copy, then you can apply it. I didn't change anything yet, so we don't really need to do that yet. After making edits to the local stuff, commit and push on your other computers, run an update. This effectively does a git pull and a shame while apply. So I'm not entirely sure if shame while update is the thing that I need to run on this computer or on the computer that I'm going to install shame while on. So I am going to check out the um, thing here. So we init. I guess we have to init with a repo anyway. Okay, so it, no matter what, we have to uh, add our own repo here. So let's do um, this repo, which of course I can no longer get the share link for because I've made the UI too big. Um, and apparently that removes all of the useful functionality. So let's th grab that URL and we're in here, right? Okay, so get remote add origin this right so dot files gco i think it's orphan get or is it so it should be gco orphan so get checkout orphan main so main is now a clean branch it does not have like anything on it from anything that i'm doing here so we should be able to continue with our shamewa i thought shamewa was going to handle this for us but maybe not Git push u origin main. Um, there's nothing here yet. So do we need to add this? I feel like there are missing instructions here. So we add, which is not git add. We can edit, we can diff, we can apply. We have to add apparently. Okay. So I already do that for my regular stuff. I was kind of like, there's still features here that I'm going to use that are not like features of raw git or whatnot. So like this dot prefix, um, Let's just add Rust format for streaming. Git push u origin main. Okay, so that's there now. And one of the things that I want to do over here now that we have the main branch is uh, you all branches. I have a bunch of branches here, don't I? If I go to settings, I can set this as the uh, default branch. Branches uh, master is a branch we are no longer going to use and I haven't touched in a long time, so... I don't want to rename it, switch to another branch, main. Main is now the, so if we change the default branch, then when people clone this, that's the branch they get checked out by default, which can confuse people. Uh, nobody's working with my dot files, so it's not a problem. I'll just remember that I did that. And now we have the dot rust format dot toml here. So that's great. So we have this and that should be it for setting up chez moi. It's actually pretty easy uh, and the docs aren't exactly the way that I would write them, but between Jacob's blog post and uh, the docs that already exist, we were able to figure it out. So when we initialize on a second machine, it's gonna be shame moi init, and then the URL of the Git repo. I think we can, yeah, okay. So a couple lines down, it's like shame moi init uh, username. So I'm just going to install shame moi on my other computer. So I did exactly this on my other computer. I did shame moi init apply, and then the username of my user on GitHub. So Christopher Biscardi in this case. And because I set the default branch to main, that's the one that it pulled down when it tried to pull. It's very important that if you already have a repo with some default branch set, and you're going to go through this process and change the branch, that you change the main branch before you start doing uh, shame in init on your other computers, because otherwise it'll pull down the wrong branch. So let's try with some other file because apparently now we can just do shamewa update. So there's really nothing else in this dot files that I'm gonna add to shamewa. Let's see what else I have laying around my file system here. WeChat, WeChat is something I haven't used in forever. Yabyrc, maybe that's a good one. What's in Yabyrc? Yabyrc, padding, window shadow. Okay, this is good. Yabai is the window manager that I'm using. So the reason that there's spacing around all of the windows that you see on screen right now and spacing between the windows and the window shadow being turned off and things like that. All of that is handled by Yabai. So that's something that I'm going to want 
in my chez moi. That's interesting. So it's now an executable dot yabyrc, but it's here now. And I think that we should just be able to commit and push and then chez moi update. Because we're basically adding files that already exist, um, I don't think that there's much that chez moi is going to do for us. So let me chez moi cd and then git add the executable and say um, add you by rc for window padding gaps etc so i'll push that up and then on my other computer what i'm going to run uh shame update and that worked perfectly actually so whenever i push things up from this computer all i need to do when i start working on my other computers is uh run shame shame update and if i run it on this one it shouldn't do anything i don't know what it's doing right now actually oh you know what it is it's pulling all of the branches so i could have deleted the master branch and then it wouldn't have pulled anything so if I did shame moi update, you can see that it does like a git pull. I'm not sure why there isn't like a, hey, push this up for me command. Maybe there is, maybe I just missed it. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's do shame moi help. Let's see if there's a push command. There's a diff command that's kind of cool. You can shame moi git, which is interesting. So if we cd into the home directory, so we're not in the shame moi directory and I run shame moi git status sb, uh, git status. If I just run git, it'll just run git status. SB is a git. Maybe I need to pass it the commands. Yeah, okay. So dash dash is a way of pass, making sure that the arguments that I pass in here don't go to chez moi, because these two flags uh, were just getting eaten by the chez moi command, basically. And I want them to go to git. So dash dash will pass status SB to git. So it looks like I can do this from even outside of that directory. I don't think I'll use that very often, but as possible. And uh, that's shame moi. So now I have a couple of files in my shame dot files. Uh, they're up on GitHub if you want to look at them. And they are on my other Mac. So the next step is trying to figure out how to get this onto Windows. And um, I don't know, maybe that'll be another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.